NCAA wrestling tournament. You know, it's just one of the toughest tournaments on the planet. It's the one time of the year where every match matters and everything you do matters. Yeah, the national tournament is it's electric. It's the best wrestling tournament in the world. It really matters how, how you finish, right? Our, our, our guys believe they could win. They, they believed in themselves. They believed that if they took one match at a time, they could do it. You, I would say it's the premier event in the world in terms of attendance, in terms of viewership. It, it's the compilation of, of a year of work. Yeah, it's the pinnacle. There's, there's no other tournament where there's that many fans that love wrestling the way they do. You know, it's just fun. Like this is the, the top-notch tournament that you train your whole life to get to and to win. Everyone's goals lie at this tournament, really. All, if you're a college wrestler, it lies here. Where are we at? What, you know, when is it? Where are we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hyatt Regency in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, getting ready for the Nationals on uh, Wednesday. So 24 hours, 22 hours till uh, first whistle. It's tough not, not getting kind of caught up in all the stuff. I mean, these guys have all competed in such, such big events their whole life. So I think uh, maybe going over there right now, seeing the uh, venue will help them. It's another chance to compete and uh, it's obviously the biggest event of the year. So uh, I'm hoping that they can wrestle the way they want to. The feeling of the team at Nationals is a little bit different than maybe the Vegas tournament, right? Where it's like, it's, it's just more important. Wednesday afternoon, we're at Union High School, uh, about 15 minutes away from the arena, the Bach Arena in Tulsa, downtown Tulsa, and just getting the last little few pounds off, last work on him before 2023 national championships. Very relaxed, but the team is very relaxed. I mean, uh, you know, we came, we had, we had, you know, Big Tens, there were some, you know, some of us wrestled above our seat, but there were a couple of matches that really, you know, you know, they, they, they stuck to us. And uh, those guys that had those matches had a really good uh, you know, nine days of practice. Jesse, he's very unique uh, in that uh, he, is, he is not afraid of a challenge. He knew it would be a challenge wrestling as a freshman. He knew it would be a challenge cutting that weight to get down to 33 all year. He knew that. But he knew the US Open was going to be a challenge, and he went there. He is not afraid of challenges. Setbacks do not crush him. Well, it was a setback. It was a tough loss in the semifinals. It hurt, but he, he has a really good way of, of just assessing it for what it was and moving and moving forward. When the brackets came out, look, I mean, the brackets are the brackets, right? So whatever you have, you deal with it and move forward. But there were a lot of surprises on our end. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the biggest woe was, was, you know, Gomez being that, you know, that close to Sammy and why see him 15th. And so we were a bit surprised, but, you know, Sammy's ready for anything. You know, Caleb is nine days further along than he was in the Big Tens. It's like, well, what happened? Well, the guy's been out. He's been out. I mean, he feels good. He's heads in a good place. You know, the team looks good, nice and relaxed. We're going to go in that arena and we're going to wrestle like we are deeply grateful to be there. And like, we love this more than anything in the world. That's, that's our focus deep gratitude and the deepest love and it should show. Gotta go do one certain thing real quick. Yeah. I know state bus guy. Yeah. I know That's right. Doing the do. We love you have love I to have you on the bus guy. Yeah. 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 Scarlet and gray, the colors on the wall of my childhood bedroom. The colors running through my blood since the day, day I was born. Anybody who knows me knows my love for Ohio State. Growing up 40 minutes from Columbus, I was born to be a Buckeye. 
in a blink of an eye, I am now in my senior year training to become a three-time All-American and a national champion. There has been many highs and lows along the way, but I wouldn't change a thing. Thank you for blessing me with the opportunity to do what I love every day for the past 20 years. My journey isn't over, and I am excited to continue to put you at the forefront of everything I do in my next stage of life. As always, go Bucks. As always, go Bucks. I mean, when you reel out like that, you realize that, I mean, obviously Juan, his, his family, I knew recruiting him, that Caleb was a leader. Hey, you did great, man. Thank you. Uh, Beth's got a few questions for yeah. you. Wrestling, especially for the casual fan, yeah, yeah. Uh, wrestling is uh, sometimes hard to understand the commitment and the dedication it takes. So, and it teaches you a lot of things. What what has wrestling taught you? I can I can go on about a bunch of things: hard work, discipline, um, humility. Um, wrestling's a crazy sport, and, and and you can be on top of the world, and then in a split second, you could be lose lose a huge match, and you feel like um, you're just you're nothing and no one's around and it's a, it's just it's a roller coaster ride just kind of be present and, and cherish each moment going forward so i did my 30th NCAA championship as a, as a coach uh, these young people coming in these young student wrestlers coming in their talent level their awareness their timing uh, their understanding of what it takes to reach the highest level is, is incredible. It's a chaotic, intense, wild weekend. We have more to grow. There's, there, are, there are more things we can do to be even uh, you know, on a higher stage. But uh, yeah, it's been quite a run, 30 years. That's great. That's it. That's all I got. Yep. You're all done. All right, sure. <laughs> yeah, no problems. Thank you. It's just, that's how it's, it's just hard because you. I feel like you can say so much, like, I didn't want it to be too long, too short, so I was just trying to, yeah. Everyone else here? Yeah, everyone else. Everyone else? Hey, so I got some, some, uh, some good news. What's up? Uh-oh. All right. The Nationals are mom. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Weigh-ins are at 9. What time are we? 7.30. 7.30? Two groups, one I probably won't here and jog down. You ready to roll? Oh, yeah. Right everywhere. <laughs> so, so you guys know Romero was asked by the NCAA to write a letter? Who knows about that? Uh, so they picked, uh, I think, three or four athletes. I think Spencer Lee was picked, Yanni was picked, and then Caleb was picked. So three athletes in the NCAA tournament. Just snuck in there with the four so, times. They ain't four timers, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. When you are when you are wrestling, I've seen this out of all of you, out of everyone, when you are wrestling with love and gratitude, you, you have this in you. You have it in you. The, the, the work is over. You're fit enough, you're good enough, you got amazing skills, but you have to run into that arena tomorrow. Like just with, with, with this absolute sense of my God. How grateful am I? We'll be here a year from now saying, holy cow, I can't believe it's back. Right? It'll be over before you know it. So mm -hmm. you guys are really good. Show it tomorrow. And Friday and Saturday. Right? Anybody else? Anybody I'll send, I'll send about numbers and estimate. Quick get them off in or? No. <laughs> <laughs> they will be here. Go for it. You know, you got some rest. Some cool, calm stuff. Lots of bones. Lots of bones. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The NCAA championships is like nothing else. I mean, I've been to quite a few, watched quite a few sporting events, and you know the energy is going to be incredible. It's going to be packed house. You know, it's a tight venue, lots going on. You know, if one match is boring, you can look at another one. So there's always energy in the place. At Tulsa, it was just like a big line of like tents, or I don't even know what you call them, curtains or whatever that they had. You had your own little section, nice, nice little chairs, a little table for your food and snacks and stuff, and uh, basically just a little hangout for you during matches and during the sessions. Yeah, it's kind of your own little world. You're separate by yourself, and you know, the fans are out there and you're back there and kind of focus, you got your own thing going on. And then you walk a little further down and they got warm-up mats and everything, bout boards, tunnels to run out to. I enjoy that chaos for sure. Like you, you've done it your whole life. Like 
when you're at youth states and all these kids are warming up on a warm-up mat and then you're in the tunnel and you're getting your name called and you're not allowed to walk out to the mat until you're up or you're on deck. It's the same thing, you know, same thing when you were 12 and it's the same thing now that you're 22. And I think everybody, almost everybody down there kind of kind of lives for it. It's like, it don't matter. Whoever you're gonna have this first round is gonna be good. And pretty much everybody at the tournament you wrestle is gonna be good. So you gotta come ready to scrap. You know, I mean, lightweights did a really nice job. We picked up, you know, four, four matches. We got bonus points. You need those bonus points early on. I mean, the win's worth one. And the, and the major's worth one. So you double, you double your points with a, with a major. So a couple guys got them late. Uh, Sammy got one late, and Caleb got one late, and Dylan got one late, and Jesse got one late. So good, they're wrestling hard. Uh, a couple tough losses, you know, Hoffman just not, unfortunately not healthy. You know, he's been out for too long, and he's, he doesn't have the power. But hopefully he can find a way to fight back. You know, he's, he's, he's on one leg. And then Tate was a tough one. You know, we just gotta get that one. But come back strong. Uh, you start slow, you get behind big, and then, then you got a problem. So gotta be ready to fight from the start. So big ones tonight. We're judged so heavily on, on a three-day period, which is which is great in, for some guys, and then and the scary. People are banged up. People maybe have some self-doubt or you know belief issues, and looking at their path. And you, you can't get too far down that road. You just got to take it moment at a time and and wrestle each period at a time, and, and then go with it because you, you just you just never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's it's a great tournament. It's the toughest tournament, and it's one that really challenges you mentally. And I think we saw this year a lot of guys on our team rise to the occasion. Come on, come on! Dude, it's in there the whole time. We had to bring it out. You can't handle that pressure. No, no one can. Listen, and then you're feeling the shots and you go behind your magic. The pull is magic. The pull opens everything up. The pull, then, then you start your shots going. Did you go behind going, then the shots come. You got, is that his backpack? Hey, hey, heart rate back down. Relax, food, it's gonna be a long, long two days. There's more coming, here we go. This first one, first one always a little, I feel like you get a little more tired that first one than the, than the others. But I get that first window, except for bro, because I think that's most times anyway has ever gotten on my leg, usually it doesn't happen too often. But um, I defended it off, all the shots off really well, I thought. So a little heavy on my feet that first match, but uh, I got the major extra, extra team points. That's what we wanted, so I'm proud of it. Smith wins on riding time, so Ohio State picks up a victory at 174. Things are clicking, body feels really good. Things are going well. I think this is what we planned for. Had a boy. Hey, V. No, this is what the training method is. You know, it's if we mean what we say, we say it doesn't matter to March. And we're riding these ebbs and flows throughout the season, and it's a tough sport, man. But peaking, we're wrestling well. Um, yeah, just a testament to our coaches what they keep telling us. You know, hey, this is what it counts. Keep believing, keep believing, they believe in us, so more wrestling to do. Come on, man! Save the big yeah. rest to come by like that, not for you. Come back for your senior year like that. Baby. Come on! Let's go! Man. Come on! Oh. Let's go climb. Oh. Let's climb that podium. out of you, man. You know, in, in, in the heat of battle, it, it gets pretty intense and emotionally charged, and um, you just got to try to keep your head to, to put your athletes in the best position to win and make good choices and, um, you know, make sure they feel good and, and tell them the right stuff in between matches. And so, at, so at 49, you know, Sammy, Sammy, just working like he's hard to beat, good in so many positions. I thought Ethan, I was really surprised that Ethan lost. I mean, Brands is tough at 74. I was surprised we lost that scramble. 
you know, we kept, looked like we had him dead to rights, and then we didn't. Um, he just couldn't break his head hand defense. And then Romero, working like job. Job. How does he feel that match better or no? Way to, way to use energy early, yeah? Huh? What are you missing? Yeah? That's good. Way to use it early. Get the ride. Get your big body on. Fucking exhausted. Good job. Squiggly. Yeah, I mean, he's athletic. I mean, he's a, he's a lighter heavyweight, but he's strong. <coughs> That's staying in there and then bringing it up. It's beautiful. Patient. But they don't have anything on you when you're in perfect position like that. Just pinch it with your knees, and when you're ready, take it out. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on. How'd that feel? That was unreal. Feels like it's day 23 of the national championships. It's exhausting. Some ups and downs this round. Yeah, sure. You know, Jesse early, just, just, just a little bit. You know, that McGee has got such a great speed, but we just relaxed a little bit. Just gets the takedown, looks like. McGee is so quick. McGee, he's, he's weird to wrestle because he's threatening from his knees, and you want a collar time, but he's got that slide by. You want to grab his wrist, but he's going to rip his wrist away and create space. So it's. He's hard to wrestle just for the fact that you, it's hard to close distance on him. He, he picks his shots well. So the kid's a stud and I got a lot of respect for him, but obviously sucks taking a loss. I just knew that I was gonna have to win a lot of matches and it's gonna have to get tough. Hey, stop following me around. So Dylan wrestled uh, 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 Real Woods. Woods was the one seed. Um, so I had him round two, wrestled tough against him. By the time third period comes around, short time, down by two, get him on the edge and maybe Maybe had a takedown um, that would have sent it to overtime at the whistle. You know, maybe a 50-50 call would have been nice to get that. Send that to overtime because I thought I had him pretty gassed. The call wasn't made, so um, no takedown. And, you know, dropped that match round two. Close match, two-point match. We, we look, apparently looked like we took him down late. Refs reviewed it, and we didn't get the points. So he lost. But they're going to come back strong. He's wrestling really well. Nine guys still in, scoring points. And, uh, you know, our guys that just lost in the round of 16, they gotta come back. They gotta show who they are tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're potentially 21 minutes away from being on the podium. You have three matches. It's a long way back. Just focus on giving the energy and effort that is needed. Terrible shot. Terrible. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Shit, the bed in the first period. No, it's just listen. The second period, that shot, you didn't need it. You're going across his body. He ran right behind you. It's not there. You're falling. You, when you miss it, you, you, when you miss it, you're like a, you're like a rolling ball. You can't do anything. You can't recover fast enough. Swings, doubles, that cross shot. And you got to know you got it. If you're going to go cross and get it. Great effort. Great effort. You fought your butt off. And then listen, on the edge, just 45 seconds to go. You got, you, you got to score a takedown. You just, you just looking at the ref. You got to look. You got to score. You live for you know what I mean this is what you train for every day when it comes down to it whether you like it or not this is where this is where the magic happens you know what I mean yeah. this is it I'll probably go back to the hotel uh, get a meal lay down for a little bit and uh, yeah just relax until it's time to go again it's also being my last NCAA tournament it did feel a little weird just give it everything you freaking have and like just leave it all out there because this is legit the last time you're gonna do this. This is the last time you're gonna feel any of these emotions, anything like this. My quarters match, I had Brooks, the way the way the seating fell out. Unfortunately. I mean I knew I was gonna have to beat him to win a national title anyways. I knew he he, he was gonna make it. I, I competed hard. <laughs> the kid's good at wrestling. He's a, he's a three-time national champ for a reason. So I fell in the quarters to Brooks. Again, like the previous year, um, I dropped down to the blood round. Dropping in that backside in the national tournament's rough because even on the backside, everybody's a hammer. You're gonna see all Americans on the backside. But start off with Jesse Mendez. He just went three overtime matches in a row on the backside. Looking back and seeing the line that I had to go through, I was drained. I mean, Friday was rough. 
three, I think I wrestled 40 minutes that day, 35 minutes that day. 37, actually. Jesse's win was enormous. Yeah, he wrestled more minutes than anybody in the tournament. Every match was overtime. Not happy about getting sixth, but All-American as a freshman isn't bad. It's not awful. You know, I was just proud of my teammates. They, they showed out. And I see the hard work they put into the room and the countless hours we come in, especially Dylan. And then D'Amelio, he comes out, beats the, I think Matthews was the number two seed. He was ranked one or two all year. Dropping out of the backside for Nationals, it's like, okay, we got some work to do now. Friday night was a special night for the Bucks, especially me and Mendez, like, warming up together, drilled partners together, you know, throughout the whole year. Um, and just kind of on the same page throughout the tournament in a weird way, you know, coming off my match and then to become an All-American and then, you know, hearing the news that Jesse was an All-American, man, it just meant a lot. It was a special round. And now we're wrestling for third and fourth, and I had Trent Hidley, who is a familiar opponent. I don't know, me and him, I feel like we both use a lot of strength um, when we wrestle and um, explosion. So we're, we're, we're kind of similar in that aspect. And so the match was knotted up, I think, one to one, goes into overtime. Um, I felt an opening a little bit earlier in the match. And so I set up that same side collar tie to my head outside single. There was, like, I think, like five seconds left. I get on the head outside, we go crack down. And so I knew where I was going to go from there. And I hop over, I catch his, catch his foot, and I get the two. And that was just, Tom went crazy, Logan went crazy, Bo went crazy, I went crazy. We were just, it was my last match. I mean, I, I couldn't ask for a, a better way to go off. It was a great win for me, and I, I, I was glad that I was able to go out like that. Taylor Romero, Ohio State, third place at 184. What's propelling me big time right now, other than this is my last time I'll ever do this, I'm just trying to cherish everything and just leave it all out there. It's, we're proving them wrong now, and so just knowing that we're right there for third place, I'm going to get a trophy. I'm just freaking, I just wanted to make sure that we can try to do that, just put it out there for my team. Thank you so much. Today was a good day. I mean, the emotion has been incredible. Our guys, guys, they wrestled so tough. I'm so proud of them. Up and down the lineup. You know, these, this group of seniors, you know, a lot of them came back, right? They took this extra year and they came back, and the goal all year long was get a trophy, and we're in the hunt. Got done with the first round, and then uh, quarterfinals, semifinals, wrestled Parco. Kind of put it on him this time. It feels pretty good rolling into the finals. You know, I was prepared as I ever was, and you know, ultimately, I just had to just be the best version of myself and really let it fly. NCAA finals, you the last match. You getting ready to compete, and it's just, uh, you know, you can't, you can't like make it bigger than it is. I can't really remember things from that match. Sometimes I can, sometimes, but sometimes it's just like, I'm just in the moment fighting and everything's one thing to the next. The Sammy Yanni match, obviously we have one finalist at Sammy. Sammy prepared like Someone who deeply loves the sport and wants to win the tournament would prepare. You're Sasso. You're trying to disrupt the party tonight. You don't want this guy celebrating on you. You do not want to be a part of history. Yeah, just remember wrestling tough, wrestling hard, and getting in some scrambles. I felt like there was, at one point, I was like right there close to the takedown, and there was just like one little piece of the puzzle was, you know, out of place. And I was just, far ankle was just like, felt so close, but it was just, you know, far away. We kind of rolled around a little bit and I wound up in like that side Merkel position where he's like locked around your leg. Um, so I knew it was just a tough spot to get a takedown with two seconds left. So. He's got to get behind both arms, coach. He might. And time runs out on Sammy Sasso. The four-time club welcome its, its fifth member and a standing ovation for Yanni Diakamahalas here in Tulsa. You know, he's a tough competitor. He's made me he's made me a lot better competing with him throughout the years. Tough guy to face <clears throat> to win a national title, but you know, we all need a Yanni in our life. It kept him really focused all year long. 
and he wrestled them really tough. Um, and he lost. Obviously, there's, there's never any shame in that whatsoever. We were proud of him. I just remember it was annoying because mad people are leaving as I just lost in the NCAA finals. Like, I'd rather not everybody in the stands be clearing out right at this moment. You know, I had people bombarding me and things like that. And uh, so I didn't really have time to like feel sorry for myself, which I think is a good thing. So I kind of just went back and found a little spot while everybody's like leaving the arena and just kind of, you know, hug my coaches, hug my teammates, hug my family. And yeah, just went and got on the podium. Well done, man. Well done. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Grateful that these guys pulled through. We're proud of the guys that pulled through. Every, you know, we're all there to win. But if you can't win, you do the best you can. And yeah. So this this year, you know, at the national championships, you know, we won enough to get a trophy. Come on, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Bring it. Everyone, bring it in. Come on. Get in, sir. One more. Come on. Six years. It goes by quick. The young guys. Holy smokes. Um, Everyone in wrestling, I'm proud of you, all of you guys, especially you young guys. You know, Caleb, myself, Tate, we're leaving next year. So a lot of you young guys, it's an opportunity for you to step up, lead, be a different version of yourself. It's been an incredible ride. Coaches, love you all too. Go Bucks, baby. Got a trophy. Go Bucks on three. One, two, three. Go Bucks! You know, ever since I got to Ohio State, which is wild because it does not feel that long ago. They said it all season, like, Nashville's gonna be here quicker than you think. And it feels like, like a month ago I just got here. Moving into the dorms, getting ready for preseason training. So it's, it's wild to think about that we're already past Nationals and in my second term of college. I've grown emotionally and, and mentally too. Honestly, with, uh, with this injury happening, I've seen what one of the hardest things that can happen to me has happened to me, and I've overcome it so far. And so now I feel confident that anything that comes my way, I'm ready to deal with it. Definitely, definitely proud of the way I wrestled and, you know, just the grit I had to become an All-American. You know, I love my coaches, I love my teammates. I, uh, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else in the world. This team means a lot to me. Uh, I came to Ohio State for a reason. I came here to make this num this team number one in the country, and that's I'm going to stand by that. We're going to get there. Yeah, I'm a Buckeye. <laughs> I've gotten so much closer with the guys since the last time we talked. You come in here, you make a name for yourself through your wrestling. You know how tough you are and how much you fight. They see that hey, he's here, you know, to do something great. You, you, you could taste it all year. We, we knew we were good enough, but we just couldn't put it together. We just couldn't make it happen. So it was one of those seasons, like, you could, you had it, and then you didn't. And you had it, you didn't, and you thought you were gonna have it, and then someone else got hurt. You know, and at the end, we got a little bite of the, you know, a little bite of the apple, which was nice. I think you couldn't have done a better job of bouncing back the way we did, you know, Feldman. Uzakis, Mendez, you know, Mendez gets in there as a true freshman, All-American, and just like the development of some guys like Romero, Smith. So I think the future is real bright. We got a couple guys coming in uh, this next class, and we got a couple red shirts who are, who are ready to compete for the Buckeyes. I just I learned a lot about myself and how much I love wrestling. The sport was made for me and uh, just, I can't wait to keep doing it. You know, I, I do anything for these guys because I love them. They're my teammates, but most importantly, they're my family, you know. Yeah, I guess being a Buckeye is just a family, family of savages. Sore? No, no, just like the two. I was kind of milking dude. my shoulder, but dude, it might that was do a, something This fun weekend about. was insane battles, man. Yeah, I'm going to I, I don't know. I, I mean, so many minutes. 
So many minutes. You earn you earn a couple days off, huh? Yeah. A couple days. <laughs> Freaking stud, man. <clears throat> I know you focused on what you didn't get, but man, you pulled off some Houdini stuff this weekend. Come on. I'm coming back because I love wrestling, and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't trade it for, for the world. So like, some opportunities to compete, and you know, obviously I haven't gotten my title yet, so I want them. And uh, you know, I'm, of course I'm gonna come back and give it another shot. That's good, man. All right, good deal. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.